Stuff is own family. We in the bathroom. You guys are totally getting a tour of my house or my many places that I've lived through the life of this channel, depending on how many videos that you've watched. Today, I am going to be giving a comparison uh, slash pros and cons of all these different phone clamps. Okay, so stay tuned. And I actually don't have an intro. So we're just going to jump straight into it and talk about these motherfuckers. This is by far my favorite. Um, but I'll get back to this later. I'll tell you about these two and why I got them first and why I was not satisfied. So first things first, the first one that I got is this little tripod guy. And um, I think in theory, it's cool. Like these... You can make them go any kind of which way. Um, like that's a lot more sturdy than it was, you know, three seconds ago. So, you know, and you can make it wrap around certain things. The problem with it is this, uh, this ball configuration. So here's like a pin that you can tighten. This is hard to do it while I'm holding the camera. But this thing, this thing tightens, I guess, the uh, the grip of the ball. And if you want to, it doesn't have like a very good range. Like say I have this tripod here and I wanna shoot some footage of that direction. This, it's not going any lower than this. So it's not really gonna get it straight. So like you have to maybe do something like that but in all reality this is the thing this tripod thing is really not that stable at the end of the day and you see it's just about to fall over and there's not even the weight of the phone attached to it just yet so this is a bad design in my opinion maybe if there was um you know i know that there's lots of different versions of this online this was like a relatively inexpensive one i'm sure some of the more expensive tripods hopefully are better than this but i do not recommend this one <laughs> exactly okay so that's another thing when you try to put it in a direction that you want it to go and then you loosen this up or tight you try to tighten it it just it's not good okay this thing also it's kind of like deadly, man. Like this spring is super, super tight. I, when I first started messing with it, I definitely like pinched my finger and it hurt really bad. So be careful with this. But now that I know how to use it, you basically just put the phone in there and you gotta be quick with it. You gotta be rough with it. Like it, it's, you're not like gently like putting it into place cause you're gonna get, you're gonna get jacked. That's number one. Now, ironically, number two, if you watched the video that I just posted, uh, I'm posting these at the same time. So same date, I made a, a video about the uh, Halo ring light for YouTubers just to have more light in their shot. And this actually came with it. So this is the same, these are identical actually, um, but, I just like this connection so much better. Like, and also it's, it's not put on a tripod. I'm not trying to make it go a lot of different directions. When I connect this to the, the pole of the halo light, it's in pretty much in place and where it needs to be. So you probably can buy this separate for any pole, but, um, it came with the light. Okay. So I'm just, just wanted to throw that in there. This is, in my opinion, the best because, for, well, first of all, I bought this separate. I know you can get this separate. And this um, is a pretty hefty piece. Like it has some weight to it and it's well designed. And as you can see, the clamp is opening as I gently untighten it and then tighten it. And what's beautiful about this is you can be going about your day um, and as long as you see something that you can grab onto, you have a shot. Okay. So whether it's a pole or, uh, like the end of a desk or, you know, you'll, you'll be creative in your environment, like what this will grab onto, but it, um, 
it's pretty legit. And this, um, this, I wish this was a little bit better actually, but it does the job. Uh, it's a little confusing in terms of which way, I feel like it's reversed when I go to tighten it or loosen it to just get the, uh, the swivel angle from here. Like if right now I'm going left and it's going tighter. But anyway, um, it's tight. It works. It works. So once you get past the, the reversed thing, it's all good. Um, and then this is much, much more gentle. Okay, both of these expand. And it's not going to like snap back real harsh like on these guys and pinch your fingers. So that's good. And then when the phone is actually in place, it has these rubber things that you can put over top of the phone to secure it in place uh, even more. And you will not be disappointed if you get this one. So that's all I wanted to show you. Um, if you liked or if you watched this video so far up to this point, please give this video a thumbs up so that more people get this valuable life-changing knowledge. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.